Hello everyone. We are on the fifth video of the series where I rig and animate Tracer from Overwatch. Today I will be doing walk using this book as a reference. It has very good explanation of basic animations inside. I think you have heard about this book. It is covered with pretty nice images and some short explanations. So keep tuned to see how we are going to do. I will try to squeeze everything inside the 15 minutes or 10. I don't know how it will go. We will be starting from legs and later uh, move to the head and other secondary animations. Okay, let's get started. This is spine tool. We will be using it to animate, you know already. This is Tracer from Overwatch. We have already rigged it. Let me show the bones here. And uh, let's start by importing the image from the book. I use this reference uh, most of the time when I do box. Let's put it here. Anyway, we are going to hide the body section. We will be showing it after we finish with the legs. And I will keep this image so you can see sometimes I may jump and explain something. Okay, let's go to the animation and see where we start. Uh, we can see that I marked timeline with numbers. Uh, those are going to match our current timeline on spine. Uh, we'll be doing it in 40 frames. Later we can expand or contract the whole timeline. So let's start from up and down movement. Uh, there are two extreme poses for up and down. Let's use this bone for that and uh, let's create an animation, otherwise King is not active. Name it walk and do that up and down. I will be assuming this is the up position, that's key, and on frame 10, let's move it down and copy 0, copy this cycle and we have two cycle in uh, 40 frames. Let's select the timeline and hit this button that will smooth on it and offset the whole timeline. So the, on the five frame, we will have uh, the extreme down position, which is right now on 10 frame. With that, I will hold Control Alt. Let me enable pop-ups. Hold Control Alt and move it left. That's it. Next, let's start posing the legs. And for that, I will select this leg and change the image. We have prepared this previously. If you have missed uh, those videos, I will leave the link uh, on the screen for, uh, to the playlist so you can check this section. Let's pause the leg. In this video, I'm going to animate one leg and copy animation to other leg and then offset the second leg. Let's uh, move it out, uh, forward. Pause it, okay, and run zero frame. After two frames, I will rotate the foot to plant it and copy zero frame to 40. And at 20, 25, let's see the contact pose when it releases the foot, it would be on 25. We can see it touches with the tip of the fingers. Also, the heel is still moving back here. So let's move it back and rotate appropriately. Now yeah, this would work. And after that it comes back to initial position. Of course this is not working, but let's fix it in graph editor. Let's start from rotation graph. Okay, let's isolate it. Let's uh, copy um, frame two rotation. We want to make sure that up until 10 frame it remains this uh, remains still planted on the ground fully so let's go to the frame 10 and past it and see what we have we see that it uh, moves up we don't want that let's separate uh, translate axis we have combined it right now let's separate it for that we select the bone and hit translate that will separate it. In this mode, we can see that there are two timelines. We can move them separately, obviously. Now, uh, let's make sure that food is uh, planted up until frame 10 on y-axis. 
for that. Let's we can actually use favor tool. Just make sure everything is deselected. Put on the frame you want to modify and move uh, left or right left would mean it favors to this pose and right it favors to this pose. There are different modes you, you can check it later. Okay, right now we have food planted on frame 10 and after that it raises. It looks like working for now. Uh, let's see the contact pose after frame 10. It changes to this point. Uh, and see, we need to make sure that this point along all the time up until the frame uh, 25 is still and only at the end it just r releases. So maybe we can uh, pick 22 and make sure that it remains on the same line. Okay, let's see. We might need to select isolate the Y. We already have it isolated and move it down. Make sure I'm looking at this point and using this UI, Spanish UI. And at this point, the foot should raise and continue raising up until 30 frame or 35 where the heel is at the extreme up position. Let's raise it and also let's see the rotation at the 30 frame. It's, it even uh, rotates a little bit more than vertical. Let's select rotation line and in 30 frame we can do, we don't want to exaggerate this much. Okay, and back to contact. Let's see what we have. Now let's select the Y and smooth it because we want when it uh, goes down, we want it to plant slowly because she is not a heavy character and not a metallic robot and we don't need her to stomp on the ground. We need to Smooth it so it looks gentle. And uh, let's isolate the x axis and see here what we have with this graph. So from 0 to 25, up until it raises from the ground, it needs to move the foot, needs to move constantly without any easing as such. So for that, we need to make sure that it's linear, and after that. I normally do easings when foot uh, goes back to initial pose. Okay, let me let me quickly fix this section. I don't like how it looks. Let me show every frame and see why it jumps here. Yeah, I think it comes from y-axis. Yeah, let's uh, select these three frames and hit auto curve, I don't know, uh, after Bezier, yeah, and you can see that it uh, makes it flow nicely. Yeah, I like the result, let's also do the tip animation, let's uh, exaggerate a little bit, land here on the ground, it remains still up until frame 10. And after that, it needs to rotate to compensate this movement. We will do on 22 this way, and at 25, it yeah, it starts to release in. Let's copy zero frame to here. Yeah. Let me check quickly. Do I like it or no? I see some jumping on the knee. Should I fix it or leave it this way? I don't know. I would fix it normally. I don't know if... Let me actually fix it, yeah. For that, you can see that we have quick jumps here. For example, at 38, 39 and 40, we have very quick jumps on knee. For that, we can reduce that effect by smoothing this section. That means that food will actually come on contact much sooner and softer. 
it didn't fix the issue. Maybe we can move it a little bit back here. You know, it's too stretched. And bring back the smoothness. It's too much. Yeah, I, I like this. Let's copy this to other food. Let's select the timeline, copy it, select the other bone, and paste it. Okay, we can see that only rotation keys came. We need also translation, but for that we need to change the setting of separation for also this bone because we copied three timelines and we want to paste it here, but it has only the spot for two timelines for rotation and translate. So let's separate it and pass it again. We have two weird legs looking uh, not good. Let's select this and with adjust, just move. It will move the bone on all uh, timeline on keyframes. Move it until it's, it's not snapping. And also let's see how it looks. Yeah, I think we need to move it much further to make it look and upper. Yeah, let's make them look identical. And let's uh, disable adjust and see how we don't want it to go too far. Let's see X axis. We need it to be visible here. Yeah, I like it. And let's copy also this bone and paste it here. And the last thing we need to offset them. We select both bones, we select timeline, and we just with Control Alt or this mode enabled offset, we just offset it uh, half a cycle. And we have walking legs. Unfortunately, we don't have too much time. I don't want to expand this video a lot to do the body, <clears throat> but let me show the body. And this, actually, we just uh, leave some secondary movements. I don't want to bother you with those. So I will have them finished uh, next time in next video, and we will start uh, doing some jump and attack animation in the next video, maybe using some parts of the, her effects or I don't know how she is using her uh, armlets, I don't know how. So we will be doing some jump and attack. It would be complex animation. I don't know, maybe the video will be some 30 minutes. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see a video uh, over 30 minutes or it, it's too long. So. Okay, that was it. Uh, thank you for watching again. This video, uh, this series will be continuing uh, up until we make some effects and maybe at the end we will put her in the Unity and set up everything and maybe do some anim uh, animator work. Um, make sure you have subscribed if you are interested to see the next works. And uh, make sure also you check the playlist to see if you have missed anything we have done previously. Okay, that's it. Bye guys.